Grace by Max Lucado. Chapter One Summary: The Gray-Shaped Life. Max was undergoing a heart procedure when the doctor asked if he had any questions. You're burning the interior of my heart, and you intend to kill the misbehaving cells? That's my plan, said the doctor. Well, as long as you're in there, can you take some of my greed, selfishness, and guilt away? The doctor smiled and answered, That's out of my pay grade, and indeed it was. But not for our God. We are wrong to think that change happens overnight, but we are equally wrong to assume change never happens. It may come in spurts or through a major breakthrough, but it does come. Have you ever laid awake and just stared at the darkness? Have you ever turned the page of your Bible and looked at the words and nothing moved you? Have you ever listened to a preacher talk about the prodigal son and felt like one? The meaning of life and the wasted years, God answers them all with one word, grace. Sometimes we think we understand the term grace. The bank has a grace period. Politicians fall from grace. But do we really understand it? We have settled for a wimpy version of grace. You see, when you give your heart to Christ, he returns a favor. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you. Paul said, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. As Christians, we belong to him and increasingly become more like him. Grace is God as a heart surgeon, cracking open your chest, removing your heart, and replacing it with his. Rather than telling you to change, he creates the change. Did you have to clean up so he accepted you? No. He accepts you and then begins the cleaning up. Grace is everything Jesus. Grace lives because he does, works because he works, and matters because he matters. To be saved by grace is to be saved by him. Not by a church membership, but by Jesus himself. Now you may fear that you have written too many checks on God's kindness and wonder if God can do something with the mess. Well then, grace is what you need.